Ladies and gentlemen, guess who's back? It's your boy Moonshot Max bringing you all this crypto content that you love. And on today's episode, we are talking about the Drip Network, but we are specifically talking about the two biggest problems in the Drip Network right now. And of course, we are a family. We are a closed-knit community. So therefore, when we see problems, we got to bring it out to light so we are able to address it and find some solutions. Of course, if you like this type of video, hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. We're going to get busy and get straight into this video. All right, so what am I saying in this video, guys, is never ever financial advice. You're going to have to do your own research. So straight off the bat, I just want to say this, that if you watch my previous video on the animal farm, did it hurt or help drip? We know that the animal farm did not hurt drip. You see, animal farm is not the problem. Animal Farm provides a way to give drip utility, so therefore it cannot be a problem. And from all the taxes, drip injections are going into the tax vault, so how can we call the Animal Farm a problem? How can we call the drip garden a problem when the LP tokens are being staked and locked in that contract and people cannot just dump all these and sell all these LP tokens? So therefore, we know that the animal farm is not the problem. So I wanna reveal to you the first problem that we have in the drip community. The first biggest problem that we have in the drip community is going to be, of course, our circulating supply. Like, oh my Lord, the circulating supply is at 535,000 drip. And that is a real concern because the more and more drip tokens that go into circulations, we know that the price cannot go high. But the second biggest problem in the drip community, if we go to dune.com is going to be, of course, let's take a look at the number of drip tokens that are in wallets. And currently we have 1,597,991 drip tokens inside of wallets. All right, so as you can see, guys, we have two big problems. Number one, the circulating supply is running amok. And number two, people are just holding and hoarding drip tokens in their wallets. But sometimes when we feel that things are problems, we don't understand that they're not really problems, but they're symptoms of the bigger problem. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about a common cold. Now you see the cold is the problem and the symptoms are the result of the common cold. So if you have a cough, you have a runny nose, you have a sore throat, you have a headache, you have a fever, right? You have weaknesses. We know those things are symptoms of the larger problem, which is a common cold. So that's what a doctor does. A doctor don't really pay attention to your symptoms as much because they understand that the problem is the cold. So if I could combat the cold with some medication, then your symptoms are going to subside. So what is the biggest problem of the drip network? Because the circulating supply are symptoms, right? The drip being left in wallets are symptoms. So for me personally, the biggest problem that we have in the drip network is the lack of education. The lack of education in regards to the ecosystem. Because if the people that are putting the drip into circulating supply or hoarding the drip in their wallet really understood the power of the ecosystem, then our symptoms would subside and eventually go away. So I want to share this big quote with you guys. Very important quote. He who doesn't understand history is doomed to repeat it. We know that if we don't take a lesson from history and all of the past things that happen, we might repeat the same mistakes because those mistakes are not learned from the lessons of yesterday. So let's go back to my channel and I'm going to scroll down. And I'm here nine months ago, and I remember this video very vividly. It was the Animal Farm pre-sale, and the BUSD raised happened within seconds. Like, I tried to get in, I had my money ready, and I could not get in. Everybody was trying to get into the Animal Farm pre-sale. 
but there are certain lessons from that video that's still playing out till this day. So let's play it. If we go back to the animal farm, guys, let's go back to the farms. You see this drip slash BUSD right here in the farm, this is a new use case for drip. This is where more people's gonna go buy drip to take it out of circulation, to lock it up in the drip slash BUSD farm right here. The more drip that's coming out of circulation, the more the price of drip is gonna go up because it is deflationary. And that's the beautiful thing about drip that a lot of people don't know. The more use cases for this coin, the more valuable it's going to be. Shout outs to all my subscribers, all the ones who hit the like. So guys, you can see right here, I said this nine months ago that this drip slash BUSD farm is gonna take a lot of drip out of circulation. And what happened when people was taking all that drip out of circulation? The price exploded. The price exploded to $195. Let's go to the charts. Where's the wiki? When the animal farm came out and people was buying drip and the circulating supply was going down, that the price of drip just skyrocketed. And that's what we're talking about, guys. We're talking about not repeating the same mistakes. The people who have all of this drip in their wallets are not doing the ecosystem any good. Obviously, the people that have all these drip tokens are not selling it. They're waiting for the price to appreciate. But how can the price appreciate if you still have drip tokens in your wallet? You need to take those drip tokens, and this is never financial advice. This is just what I'm saying so we all could do better. We all could thrive. We need to find a home for these drip tokens. And there are many different homes that we could give these drip tokens. We could put these same drip tokens into the what? Into the animal farm. We could put it into the drip garden. We could put these drip tokens into the farm and then we're going to earn dogs. So after you earn your dogs, you are going to have two options. You could either pair it up with BUSD and stake it right here into the farm to get pigs, or you can take your dogs and put it into the dog pound and have that auto staking going on. That auto compounding is going to be fire. You're gonna be able to earn pigs as well. So no matter which direction you go into, it doesn't really matter. The same outcome is going to happen. You are going to get pigs. Then you're gonna take your pigs and put it into the pig pen to earn your BUSD dividends. And this is how you are going to make your profits. This is how the drip that's sitting in your wallet is not doing nothing for you or not doing nothing for the protocol, but by putting it into the animal farm, we could see that you could continually make profits and do something great for the protocol. Alrighty, there you have it. The two biggest problems of the drip network. And we know that these are not really the two biggest problems, but the two biggest symptoms of the bigger problem. Let me know down below, what do you think the problems of the drip network are and how we're gonna go about solving these problems. And of course, guys, if you appreciate this content, hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. This is your boy, Moonshot Max, taking you straight to the moon. I'ma see you guys on the next video. Peace out.